Hey guys, it's been a while and welcome back. I wanted to come on and do uh, From My Mind and I know I'm looking a little bit rough. I am sick and I just figured, hey, why not? Why not do something when I'm just sitting here? Um, I did a blog post um, about a week ago and I really uh, wanted to do this post in a video as well because it's so important to me. I tried to do a vlog telling people to go over to my blog to check it out but it didn't render that many hits and I really want this to get out into the world. I want parents to know, I want kids to know, I want yeah, I want people to know it's okay to talk about it. You have to talk about it. You have to ask the questions. And um, if I look down, it's because the post is on my laptop right now because I can't remember everything I wrote. It was just a hard post to write. So, yeah, let's just get to it. So this is a from my mind, living with abuse. Um, it was for me a really big, long process to learn to live with abuse. Um, the first thing I went through as a kid um, was the shame. I was ashamed of the fact that it happened to me. I was ashamed that I allowed it to happen and that I didn't know if it was right or wrong. Um, and at this point in my life I was already a really big liar because, well, um, my mom and dad had a divorce and um, my dad was a really, yeah, it was a weird one. So um, I was already lying a lot and with that I lied about everything. I lied about um, things I did, things I said, um, things I felt. And I think actually my lying, it was a way to cry out for attention. I was lying so people would um, see me lying, people would tell me, hey you're lying, let me know what's going on. Um, and it was, I feel it was also a way for me to feel something other than shame because that was basically what I felt. I felt ashamed. I felt ashamed of being me. And um, I was also at this point in my life always keeping an eye out for this guy. I was making sure it didn't happen to anyone else. I was so straight. I was like, yeah, I was kind of nasty on the whole thing. Even though I was just a kid. I, I yeah, I would be furious um, if he would like, um, show my sister that he cared for her. One, because I actually had this sick kind of um, love affair with him. I kind of felt I was in love with him and he was mine. Um, but at the same time, one part in me knew this is wrong, this is so wrong, this is not supposed to be happening and I was protecting my little sister for everything it was worth and um, yeah so so I was just keeping um, other people safe, I was ke keeping other um, girls safe, making sure they were safe. After that I went into my teens um, started school, uh, moved away from home and I went into full on denial. Um, and I was self-medicating myself with alcohol, with drugs, with an elaborate sexual behaviour that just wasn't normal. Um, and I kind of numbed myself out. I I was drinking Wednesdays, I was drinking Thursdays, I was drinking Fridays, I was drinking Saturdays and I'm going to be totally honest, I'm just going to blurt it out there. I was having a new guy every night, 
I didn't care who he was. I didn't care where he came from. I didn't care if he stayed. I didn't care about anything. I was just trying to get over the fear of the bedroom darkness because I was terrified of the bedroom. I was terrified. As soon as that light went out, I was terrified. I was like a log. I would just lie there. I wouldn't do anything. Um, and when everything was done, he had left, I was alone, I would start crying and I would bawl my eyes out. And I just hated everything I felt. I hated me. I hated me for who I was. I hated me for what I felt. Um, yeah. And I actually think my hubby just arrived, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, my hubby just got home because he was feeling sick. He was at work, actually, and he was feeling sick, so he came home. And he's going to go have a snooze. So, um, I was talking about that I had everything I felt. Um, and after that, there was this period where I just felt, okay, I'm just going to have to live with it. Um, um, it was like, oh well, it shaped me into who I am, it made me uh, the person I was and it was just like, um, I don't know, it was just like I was feeling how bad can I really be. I was just going to allow him to live his life and not say anything and not do anything. Um, I was just going to be on alert, making sure that it didn't happen to any other girls. Um, because I was going to be okay. It wasn't a problem for me. And um, that was actually after I had my son. I was going through that. And then I had my baby girl. It is now two years ago and some days and I am now living with sorrow, sadness and anger. Um, I'm so angry because he could do something like this to me. And I'm angry because I allowed this to happen to me. Um, I'm afraid I didn't speak up, I didn't say no, I, I don't remember. Um, I'm just so afraid I wasn't uh, strong enough and I didn't say no strongly enough, I didn't show him that I didn't want this and I'm sorry I keep looking at myself. Um, um, and I'm so sad because it ruined so much in me uh, and it ruined, it has ruined so much in my life and with the people around me. Um, as I said I was going to be honest and basically my hubby hasn't, um, he hasn't been my lover for two years. because I'm afraid and I wasn't going to cry but hey you don't control your emotions they control you and I feel so bad for my husband um, for marrying this wreck of a human being that I am um, and I'm, um, I'm both angry and sad at, at him, the person who did this to me, for him just not saying, I'm sorry, I know what I did was wrong, please forgive me, because I know I would forgive him. I don't, I, I'm not the kind of person who's out to destroy somebody, to destroy someone else's life because I know 
what it feels like to have your life destroyed because he did this to me and I just want him to I just want him to be aware that what he did wasn't normal nobody should do that to anyone he he marked me for life he ruined something in me for life i can't get that back he stole it from me he took it from me and i just i just want to not feel like the big bad wolf in this situation because i'm not because it feels like that's the way I am that's who I am because I'm the one damaged I'm the big bad wolf because I spoke to my family about it even though I never pressed charges I never told the police I never felt like it I never went anywhere with it even though I could have gotten paid I could have gotten some kind of money off him for ruining so much of my life but it's not about the money it's not about having him in prison it's about getting a closure it's about him coming to me saying hey Lily I'm sorry I know what I did and I'm never going to do it again I have never done it to anybody else and yeah I know he was just a kid himself but still he was older than me he was four years older than me and four years is a lot and he should have known and if he didn't, if he didn't know, he knows now. And I, I just, there's no, absolutely no part of me that believe he doesn't remember anything of this. I remember the places, I remember the feelings, I remember. I remember locking my little sister out of a room just so he could do what he wanted and I remember doing it willingly because I didn't want my sister involved I didn't want anything to happen to her this is so much harder than writing a blog post because in a post you're hidden behind the writing on the wall and here you can see all of me you can see my face you can see who I am but you know what I don't care this is for all the children out there living a hell with adults other children that doesn't know their place, that doesn't know this is wrong. I'm just so sad because I don't know why. I don't know if he knows it was wrong when he did it. I don't know why he did it to me. I don't know if he knows how much she ruined and here's my baby girl she just woke up I am so glad she doesn't understand English but hey she's still tired she wants a cuddly blanket and sleep on mommy's lap again there there and I don't know if he knows how much he ruined. I don't know if he if he has any clue that I'm left feeling so broken that I am that I am broken because I am. I don't know if I'll ever 
get away from these feelings. If this is the last little bit of my process that I'll be healed after this, that I can finally have some peace um, because all I want is my life back. I just want to be a, a normal functioning human being. I want to be able to love. I want to be able to... Oh, I can love, I can love my kids, I can love my husband, but yeah, it's just not. With my kids it's all everything, but with my husband it's, it, it, it's just not, he's not, he's not allowed to touch me. Um, I just hope that the years have changed him and that he knows what he did was wrong and I actually kind of hope it was a mistake. I kind of hope he didn't know. And I actually have to say I feel sorry for him. Because I feel sorry for him for being so ignorant <sighs> and living with abuse is so hard it's yeah it's especially hard when people around you um, don't believe you or you feel they don't believe you um, when you feel that the person that did this to you, he walks around like nothing happened, like everything's okay, I've not done anything wrong. Um, when you yourself are sitting there reliving parts of what happened every day, every single day of your life you relive some part of it. And when all you do is blame yourself, it's like everything was your fault. Why didn't you say no more clearly? Um, why didn't you tell an adult? Um, why did everything turn into a sick kind of love affair? You were just a kid. And you did it just because you thought it was supposed to be that way. But you were only a kid, I was only a child, I didn't know any better. I kind of feel, was it my responsibility? Should I have done more? Should I have said more? Should I have... I don't know, I don't know. Maybe it wasn't, but it was my responsibility to speak up and tell an adult. That's for sure. Um, and as well, it's so, so strange because time has gone, time has passed and I'm kind of sitting today thinking, did it actually happen? Is it all in my mind? Did I picture everything? Did, am, I, am I crazy? Am I nuts? Should I be hospitalized for being crazy? But then I think, why do I remember everything? Why do I remember every little detail of certain parts of it? Why do I feel so damaged? Why am I so scared of something that's totally normal to other ladies, girls in the world? Um, and I just know that it happened because I remember. but being basically feeling that other people think you're lying makes you start thinking that they are right you you start taking it onto yourself that they are right even though you know they're not and it's like it's so strange because um, it's the power of suggestion if you suggest something um, enough times 
um, it, it will happen if that makes sense I don't know but yeah that's kind of where I am and I feel that us as adults us as parents we need to start stepping up we need to teach our children to speak up they need to speak up about wrongs they see done to themselves or to other children or adults. They need to tell a grown-up. Um, um, we as grown-up, as adults, we need to get tougher. We need to be tough enough to walk the walk and to help those that don't have a voice, the ones that are afraid, the ones that um, are lost. Um, the ones that don't know that this is wrong, we need to help them. We need to be tough enough to ask the hard questions. Um, we need to use our voice, we need to speak up. Um, we need to learn that we can help. Just one hand stretched out, say, follow me let me help you can be the difference between life and death for somebody just one hand remember that when you're at the store and a kid is lost and he's lost his mom your hand can be the difference between his living or his dying um because you never know you never know who the next person coming around the corner to help him is it could be a lunatic taking him out and killing him right there. And yes, I'm being very big. I'm, I'm speaking extreme here. But it's just to prove a point. Your hand can be the only solution. Your hand can be the only help um, for, for that person living with abuse. Um, yeah. Um, I... I feel I've taken taken such big steps in this process of getting this over and done with to get the peace. Um, it has been such a burn for me for so many years because I never dared to speak up publicly about <laughs> publicly about it. Um, I spoke to my family, I spoke to my mum and dad, my sister and my aunt and uncle but I never dared to speak up to the world. I never dared to open my heart up and tell everybody about what I was feeling. And I'm doing this so that everybody can open their eyes and see that um, the girl next door who you think has a perfect life but she's kind of elaborate um, on some things and you kind of feel, hmm, something isn't right, maybe something isn't right maybe you should ask, maybe you should look into things um, we need to pay attention, we need to reach out our hands where where there can be the difference between life and death <laughs> I have managed very well I am alive um, apart from my mental issues and my problems I'm doing well um, though I'm going to be honest and say that there were so many times where I thought hey I'm just gonna end it everybody will be better off without me because I'm ruining it, everybody I was arguing with my mom I was arguing with my dad um, I was arguing with my sister my brother I would, I would argue with everybody because m my um, me myself was in such turmoil I was I, I just didn't know who I was I didn't know what foot to stand on I took it out in anger and in lying and yeah it was just so so hard um, but I would never have gotten to where I am without my family and the few friends that I actually had growing up I've never gotten anywhere without them um, they are actually my difference between life and death um, and as well I, I know I said this before but this was not um, 
a parental figure. This was a, another child, another kid who was four years older than me. Um, and I just want to tell everybody out there that you are so beautiful. You are amazing. Don't ever let anybody tell you something else. Um, if somebody is doing things to you that you don't agree with, tell someone. If it's your teacher at school, if it's your nurse, if it's your doctor, if it's your mom, if it's your dad, if it's your sister, doesn't matter, just tell somebody. Um, preferably be preferably that your sister is an adult because speak up to an adult don't hold this in yourself just don't do it it will end up ruining you and your life and what you feel um, get help speak up and get help while it's still Well, it still can make a big difference that you can have a, a, a normal life, normal upbringing. So, yeah. And always remember that if there's nobody else, send me an email. My email is all about um at gmail.com. It's in the drop box down bar. Yeah, info bar below. Just send me an email I will answer you I will answer you as good as I can from my experience and remember I love you I love you loads and loads and loads and um, yeah please share this video on um, I don't mind I just want to get this out there I want to get the kids knowing to speak up so yeah um, if you like this and think this is an important thing give me a thumbs up um, come follow me subscribe yeah and I love you guys and I shall speak to you all later bye